Hey, what's up? This is something that is not new. Gangs, organization, like the mob, have always used kids to do their dirty work. They took away everything and left me with what was human and made me into a monster. These are words from a Sicario. Let's get into this video. Got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Kato said he's proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss it. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. Hey, what's up? This is JC with Wrong and Strong, and I am Wrong and Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, don't miss nothing, leave a comment. If you are part of my Wrong and Strong family, what's up, Rasa, what's up? Subanse la suburban, let's put some gas in it so we don't end up in the wrong neighborhood and get rammed and crash. You know what it is. Thank you, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about the word sicario. As you guys know, it's used a lot so much now in movies, TV shows, social media, but it's actually a new word to the English language. It was first used in the slums of Medellin by the uh, Colombian cartels when they were recruiting teenagers and training them to be just ruthless killers. Soon after that, a lot of uh, copycats, copies, and, and other cartels in Mexico started using the word sicario. Many Sicarios are recruited in their early teenage years. You know, um, have you guys seen that movie, uh, Sicario 2, where they tell him to, uh, to kill the guy and, and the kid can't do it, so then the, the leader kills the kid in front of the other kids. Well, there's, it's actually a, a military tactic to that. It's, it's, it's to desensitize D, I think I said that right. You know me, guys. I can't talk. But it's to pretty much remove all feelings and pain from even just remorse for life, anything. So it's a tactic used that these kids start learning at a really young age when they go through this through this training. And, and um, you know, these cartels are actually training these kids at a very, very young age. I want to I wanna say the early, the... Uh, the youngest one to this day that's been like, you know, ca caught on social media and everything was 12, um, 14, 15. There's actually a movie that I watched. It's actually a series and it's on uh, Premiere, uh, Amazon Premiere. It's called uh, 000. Uh, check it out. It's actually a really, really good movie. And I think it's based upon the setas. Um, how the uh, lieutenant ends up taking over and trains all these kids to create an army. The thing, the thing is, is this tactic and this, this, this whole thing has been used for years. Like it's, this is not something new. You know, um, this was used on me as a kid. I mean, I did a lot of the dirty work for my older, you know, gang members. And, you know, this is one of the biggest reasons why in Chicago, uh, early 80s, uh, late 90s, the laws were changed because a lot of minors, what they were doing, they were carrying out all the hits, carrying the, the guns, carrying the drugs, pretty much doing all the dirty work for all the older guys. And when they got caught, you know, um, they would get smaller sentences. Um, you know, there was a lot of kids that in the early early 90s late 80s 
cop murder cases and they got let out when they were 21 because that's what the law was. Now, the thing is, is that these kids are being trained in Mexico to kill people, di dismember them, um, explosives. I mean, you name it. They, they are learning total attack, kill forms at a very, very young age. So their mind is barely in those developing stages. So they're, 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 they're pretty much what I call being just burnt out. Like it, it's crazy because I, I remember when I went to Mexico, my actually my escort, my, my guide, whatever you want to call it, the guy that sh took me around the city and everything in Mexico, he was 14 years old. He was packing a gun. He was doing cocaine. <laughs> and you know, when I when I got, I'll, I'll never forget the day when I got there to Apasingan and I got to, there's a motel, I forgot what it's called, but it's on the other entrance when you're coming in from, from Zamora. Um, and there's one hotel right in the entrance and it's got a pool. I forgot the name of it, but it's right next to a strip club. But I got there and I was supposed to meet him and he, uh, he, he had left word what room and everything. So I get there and I walk into the room and he's uh, having sex with, with a hooker. And this is a 14 year old kid, you know, he's tiny, he's little. And it was almost like a, a grown man trapped in this little kid's body. You know, he had always a pistol on him. He was always doing coke. It, it just, it was crazy. It was crazy. I, I guess you could say uh, he grew up really fast. But this is happening more and more in Mexico and now it's starting to happen in the United States because now what they're doing is there's a lot of kids that live on the border that have that free pass to come over this way and go back that way and now they're becoming hitmen for the uh, cartel. Um, I mean, you can look all over the new social media and everything, that's all over. There's there's a lot of guys right now that are locked up that actually were American born. I mean, the Wolf Boys, if you look them up, they were American teens that were actually trained to be assassins, pretty much, that's it, point blank. And it's starting to happen more and more and more because of the heavy presence now that the cartel is coming in to, you know, there's always there's always been a presence, but back in the day, you got to remember that back in the day, all that Mexico did and was in charge of was just jumping the drugs over. That was it. That was their job. They run the whole show now. So now they have a heavy presence in United States also because that's where the money gets collected. That's where the drugs get distributed. That's where the drugs get received. Everything. So, of course, they're going to have people overseeing the whole billion, billion dollar industry on this side, you know. This side is actually the side that counts. You know, uh, bringing the drugs in, like I've told you before in my last videos, is the easy part. This is why the major cities like Chicago, Florida, New York, LA are flooded with DEA the feds, I mean, you name it. It, it. It's flooded with all these agencies because it's it's uh, like a fishing zone. There's there's a lot of people to put away because there's a lot of people selling drugs, heavy, 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 heavy presence of all these agencies. But it's getting younger and younger where like these kids are, are getting a taste of that money. And like I'm saying, like, so when I was young, I was, I was trained to you know, I went to Mexico, got trained to do, you know, uh, re-rock. I got trained to uh, cook uh, rock. Uh, re-rock and rock is completely two different things. But I got trained by, I got trained by experts in Mexico to, to, to learn how to do this and actually do this in America. Um, all this pays off because it's like you're going to school and then they're, send, they're sending you off. You know, you're, work, you're working for them and it's getting more and more and more out there because I mean it, it's like this there's a lot of kids that don't want to be poor there's a lot of kids that want to succeed in life and they think that this is this is the way to do it you know getting paid the big cars the flashy you know jewelry the the the, the name the respect everything you know it's um you you see it 
all over social media. When I when I first like started seeing all the uh, junior, you know, junior narcos, how they call them on Instagram and all that, you know, flashing their their tigers, their race cars, their millions, and and all this, uh, it was it was it was unheard of for for people to even do that. Like, um, I mean, the guy that I used to work for way back in the day. He wore sandals and a pair of jeans and a dress shirt. And you would never know that that guy even had money the way that he did because he drove around in a regular Nissan. Like it, it wasn't like it is today. Uh, everything has changed and these kids are, are out of control. I mean, they're out of control because they have bad teachers and bad mentors. I mean, let's be real with it. Like uh, I was told before, uh, I'm actually a pretty smart I mean, I'm not a kid no more, but I think I'm a kid. <laughs> I just had all the wrong teachers. And this is my biggest thing. Why I put these videos out is maybe, just maybe, the right person to watch my video. And it's been working. It's been working because I've had kids from 58 in Hamlin text me. I've had... Saints from 47 text me. I've had Cicero. I mean Bolingbrook. I mean you name it. It's been working So I'm gonna keep doing it because this is what I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna do This is what I want to do in order to help someone not make the mistakes that I made because for a long time I used to think that that was the answer you know I, I started selling weed at a really young age because I wanted to buy those brand new Bo Jacksons that everybody was wearing in school. And I was wearing Jordache because that's what my dad bought me. $19.99, that's what those shoes cost. And I had to wait till they completely almost fell off of my feet to get a new pair because they had rips on the sides and I still wouldn't get a pair. And then that's how it was for me. And it was embarrassing. People don't realize this is why I did that really big shoe drive here in Phoenix before school started because people don't realize what a pair of sneakers does for a kid. They, they just don't know. A lot of these kids are getting into these situations because they, it does a lot for self-esteem. It does a lot for personal how you feel. It's just like that kid that's a little bit overweight. He really doesn't want to be overweight. But that's how they're feeding him in his house. And he doesn't know how to get rid of it. It, it, it goes in so many ways. So many ways. You know, and, and this is why I do what I do. And I'm going to keep doing it. And as long as you guys back me up, I'm, uh, this is what I do. My name is JC. I am wrong is strong. Remember, don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. And live savage. You only have one life to live. And if you live it right, one life is all you need. And remember...